the Texans beat the Jacksonville Jaguars 27 to 25. Now, let me just apologize for getting this video out a little bit later than usual. You can probably tell by the sound of my voice, I am feeling a little bit under the weather. I don't know if it's the COVID or not. I haven't gotten tested, but don't worry. I'm wearing my mask so while recording this video, so you guys aren't going to get the COVID for me. Well, that is if I even do have it. It's probably just allergies. You know, it'll pass. I'll be fine. But, um, yeah, I had to, like, kind of force myself off the couch to, like, come make this video. Also, had to drink a little energy drink so I could, you know, get some energy so I don't sound all down and gloomy in this video because the Texans did win. Now, let me just say this, and I didn't address this on Twitter. I didn't uh, make a video about it. The Texans are absolute morons for sitting Bradley Roby for disciplinary reasons. That is dumb, moronic, and it almost cost them the game today. DJ Chark went off for like over 100 yards. He had that 73-yard reception like in the third play of the game. If Bradley Roby plays this game, the Texans blow out the Jaguars. No questions asked. I mean, literally, like the dude was torching Vernon Hargraves all day. I mean, yeah, Vernon Hargraves got a nice little INT, but the dude was burnt toast all day long. So I just think the fact that they... I guess benched or sat, whatever you want to call it, whatever they did to Bradley Roby, it, it was wrong, and I just cannot wait to get this coaching staff out of Houston, I can't wait to get all those people from that front office out of Houston, man, like, I am just done with them, done with them, like, oh my god, but, uh, I mean, the Texans did win, um, now, one of, like, the little, I guess, positives that came out of me dropping this video later I got to see this nice little quote from uh, Deshaun Watson uh, he said there would have been hell if Will Fuller was traded and absolutely man like I love me some Will Fuller and I don't think I've really explained in the video why I love Will Fuller so much but I love Will Fuller because he's a beautiful man no I love Will Fuller because I absolutely hated Will Fuller when we picked him. I was like, oh my god, we got this guy who has no hands. All he is is a guy who can run really fast in a straight line. You know, I was mad at the Will Fuller pick, but, you know, I ended up being wrong, and, you know, Will Fuller proved me wrong, so therefore I love Will Fuller, and if the Texans extend Will Fuller, I will get a Will Fuller jersey. I think I've said that on Twitter before. So, yeah, Will Fuller had a great game, or, you know, a pretty good game. Uh, his biggest play was a play that shouldn't have happened. Um, sorry, Jaguars fans. Um, but, you know, it happened. Uh, the Texans got a touchdown, 77-yard touchdown, on a play that should have been a delay of game by, like, three, four seconds. Like, when it happened, I was like, that's the late game. That's the late game. Where's the flag? Where's the flag? But, like, I'm screaming, you know, flag, flag, flag. But then Will Fuller just walks into the end zone for a touchdown. And then, like, they never called it. And I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe CBS had the play clock wrong. But then it later came out that, no, the play clock on CBS was actually correct. The Texans should have been flagged for delay of game. But, eh, I mean... I don't care. The Jaguars got some favorable calls as well, like the one call where they called P.I. I believe it was on Michael Thomas. Like, that was weak. The ball was, like, literally uncatchable. Um, Yeah, they, they called pass interference on that. But, um, I mean, Brandon Cooks also big play to, you know, on the first drive. He had, like, what, 52... 50 something, 50 something yard touchdown like it was like a short pass by Deshaun and Brandon Cooks took it all the way uh Deshaun played quite well uh offensive line uh, didn't do so well protection wise uh, let me just speak on this too uh you guys already know I do not like David Johnson but uh you know you, you kind of feel bad for the guy you know you have to feel bad for the guy if you don't feel bad for the guy then you're just 
something's wrong with you, man, because like, you, you, you don't want to see a player get hurt, especially not like that. For all the good things that Sean does and, you know, all the great plays he made, I did not like that throw. He pretty much did David Johnson dirty and, yeah, like, I mean, I, hopefully he's fine and hopefully Deshaun learned from that not to, uh, you know, do that. You know, I mean, he's still young. And I will say this about Deshaun too, man. Uh, I really like that he was out there running. Like, he was playing somewhat like rookie Deshaun Watson running-wise. Like, he was just taking off. And on that one play to set up the Duke Johnson touchdown run, I want to say before halftime, like, the dude just took off and looked fast AF. That was, like, the fastest I've seen Deshaun Watson look probably since his rookie year. And, you know, I said this on Twitter earlier today while, you know, watching the game that Deshaun Watson's progression as a quarterback this season has been great. Like, he's actually taking the check downs now. And today I started seeing him throw the ball away as well, which is, you know, that's a complaint we've had with Watson since we got him, you know, like, bro, throw the ball away. Well, today he threw the ball away. He took the check downs and, you know, he was just being decisive. Like, you know, he would make a decision. Like, he'd either step up in the pocket, make the throw, or he would take off running. And that's what we want from Deshaun Watson. Even though this is a lost season, Deshaun Watson growing as a quarterback is very, very promising, and I absolutely love it. Uh, defensively, though, uh, terrible, but I mean, yes, they were playing a terrible quarterback, which I called, by the way, dude looks like Brock Osweiler 2.0, like, yikes. Um, but, I mean, you already had Whitney Merciless and, uh, Jacob Martin out. He had Dylan Cole out. Brennan Scarlett left the game. Charles who left the game as well. They sat Bradley Roby for no apparent reason. So, I mean, the defense doing meh was really not that surprising after, like, you know, the COVIDs and the dumb decisions and the injuries started to pile up. So, I'm not really going to get too mad at the defense. I will say this. Uh, Tyro Adams and Philip Gaines should have had you know, some picks as well. The Texans really should have got four picks today. I said it in my uh, preview video that the Texans were going to have a bunch of opportunities to get interceptions on this quarterback because he's not good. And I mean, legitly, besides the 73-yard throw he made to uh, DJ Chark to start the game, um, besides that, like, all his other completions were pretty much ugly completions, like, overthrown footballs that the receiver really had to adjust for like this dude's like extremely inaccurate like I said the Texans should have had way more turnovers I mean JJ Watt got a strip sack too that should have been another turnover right there himself so I mean yeah the Texans won it wasn't pretty but if we're being honest if this whole COVID thing doesn't uh come up if uh, the Texans aren't dumb and sit Roby Texans would have blown out the Jaguars. I mean, this rookie quarterback, I honestly at no point did I think uh, that they were going to win this game, the Jaguars, because I mean, the quarterback just wasn't good. If you look back at the games that the Texans played against the Jaguars like for the past two years, like the only reason their offense is ever able to get anything going against the Texans is because Gardner Minshew extends plays, but, you know, Lutton wasn't someone that could really do that, even though he had that touchdown run there like towards the end, but he ended up misfiring on a two-point conversion that's just the type of guy he is you know like Brock Osweiler but um let me just speak on someone else Jonathan Grenard I thought Jonathan Grenard had a pretty good game uh and I straight up just based this off the fact that I didn't get mad at him today like I usually tend to do with Brendan Scarlett and Whitney Merciless like oh my god set the damn edge Merciless set the edge Scarlett I usually be yelling that, you know, at the TV whenever I'm watching a Texans game for like the past, what, nine weeks. But today, I didn't do any of that yelling. Because I guess Jonathan Gernard did his job. I also saw him get some pressure occasionally. And uh, Sack Cunningham. I thought Sack Cunningham had a really, really good game. He started looking like the Sack Cunningham from last year. 
So I think that's really, really good. Tyro Adams did pretty decent as well. Justin Reed also had a pretty good game. But, I mean, again, like when you're missing a bunch of guys like that, I mean, well, what, what could you expect? If the Texans didn't have the COVID, if they were fully healthy, if they didn't sit Roby, they would have blew him out. I mean, now, yeah, they're 2-6. and six. The season is over. But I don't think you should really be taking much out of this win. You know, like, don't be like, oh, my God, the Texans are going to run the table. They're not going to run the table. They'll win a few more games. They'll probably beat Tennessee Week 17 when they're resting starters. They'll probably beat maybe Cincinnati. They, they could beat Detroit. But don't expect too much. Like, for the rest of the season, don't, like, be expecting wins. Just watch the games for enjoyment, I guess you could say. Uh, enjoy watching Deshaun Watson make plays because that's what he does, man. He makes plays. Uh, key scrambles and all that good stuff but uh yeah I mean overall I felt like it was a pretty enjoyable game I mean I wasn't like mad I was just chilling maybe it was the fact that I'm sick that I didn't really like get too much into it but uh yeah that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today comment down below your opinions on this game and yeah be sure to like and subscribe thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later peace